Our blood carries oxygen through our entire body to deliver that oxygen to all of our cells so it can be metabolized into energy. Now, one way to measure how efficiently our blood is delivering that oxygen is through SpO2, or saturated percent oxygen. And just like you and I, we can carry one thing or multiple things at once. Our blood can do the same thing, but with oxygen. Now, the more oxygen that it's carrying, the higher amount of SpO2 it will have, therefore a better efficiency of delivering that oxygen to all of our cells so we can produce the energy that we need for our day-to-day -day lives. Now, typically, SpO2 is measured at a physician's office where a device is placed over the finger that will shine a light through the skin and look at the color of one's blood. Now, the brighter red color that's depicted means a higher amount of SpO2, or more oxygen being circulated throughout your body by your blood cells, which is a good thing. However, the darker color red that's able to be detected through this device means a lower amount of SpO2, meaning less oxygen is being attached to your blood cells and less oxygen circulating through your body. Now, this is critical for us to monitor in case one has damage to their heart or lungs, as these are critical organs to help bring oxygen in and then distribute that oxygen through the rest of our body. But advances in medical technology have allowed us to step outside of the physician's office and measure SpO2 at home. One of these devices is known as the Cardiac Sense Medical Watch, which is a wearable medical device that's able to monitor one's SpO2 levels with just the touch of a finger. What you do is you use your opposite hand to touch a sensor on the medical device, and then it can pick up the amount of SpO2 that's circulating through your body. This can be done 24-7, 365 days a year, especially if you already have a condition affecting these organs, therefore adding an extra layer of protection to help monitor your symptoms or to keep yourself healthy in regards to SpO2.